Okay, to give you guys some background, uh, we got this trailer from somebody um, for free. And my thought process on it was to build a mobile chicken coop on it. Um, we didn't want anything really permanent. You know, we just been here two years and we still don't know where we want everything and you know things change and um so i thought it was a good idea well we kind of brushed it off whatever and then we went back to it again realizing that i was losing a lot of chickens this past winter and i was really upset about it they were laying eggs everywhere prior to that and i just wanted somewhere comfortable safe warm cleaner and somewhere to be able to actually lay their their eggs um so we decided to go ahead and turn this into a mobile chicken coop so we spent oh god i think it was like two and a half months maybe building it because we could only build on the weekends when my husband was home so this is going to be a pretty long video, a um, lot of music. Uh, I couldn't do a lot of the audio um, because we were playing music while we were working and YouTube doesn't allow it, so um, I have to put my own stuff in here. But I will be talking. Uh, I'll do voiceovers for certain things. And If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Alright, enjoy. Here we are, uh, obviously, as you can see, building a wall. Um, we use the floor of the garage because it's level. It's a lot easier to use that. Um, and we had to do everything indoors um, inside of the garage because it was winter time when we started. So um, we didn't want to freeze our butts off. So for this project, we had some tools we had to buy. Uh, we needed a new circular saw. We needed a nailer. And let me just say that maybe I'm the only one, but nailers scare the crap out of me. They're loud like a gun. They're very powerful when they when you pull the trigger. Um, that was the first time I was ever around an actual nailer. Um, and I have to say, it was pretty scary. But it makes quick work of things. That much I will agree on. I'm glad we bought it because it helped a bunch. Okay, for this next nesting box area, um, 
there was a lot of original welds and they were pretty beefy so I had to pretty much learn how to grind them down um, so I did a bunch of grinding I think it took me like maybe 35 minutes um, going over all of the video it looks about to be that long but um, so we did some grinding and then my husband you seen had to do some um, like uh, welding stuff he was trying to get off other welds too so he was doing a bunch of stuff with that I didn't watch a lot of that because I didn't want to hurt my eyes so but um, we're just prepping the area for the wood we're putting down a wood floor as a base it's gonna be painted to protect the wood and the girls and then we're gonna be putting up mini walls and then we're gonna slant the roof for the the opening um, so that's what we're working on here Okay, now that the walls are insulated, we started putting up um, the inside walls, uh, OSB, and then right after that I painted it with some primer um, before we actually start with the siding, so that's what we're doing here.
is done, we needed to prep the barnyard where it was going. Um, over the winter, it got hard packed. Lots of chicken poop, duck poop, goat poop, lots of poop. So we scraped the first like maybe four or five inches and then we were going to add some gravel to help with drainage. The smell for, for sure, because it was gross in the summer. Helps with the fly control too um, and the ease of everything. So that's what we're doing here with uh, this bobcat we borrowed from a friend. Finally got most of the nasty stuff out. Morning girls. Morning girls. Okay, everybody's had breakfast. This is what the barnyard looks like now. It's amazing. No more funky smell. And finally, what I've been waiting for forever. The new coop is in use. They used it last night for the first time. Um, the only casualty <laughs> is the door. I'm assuming my dog ripped it off. 
it is completely gone. Which I kind of figured was going to happen because that's just what she does. She likes to take things and break things and destroy everything. Yeah, Judy, you go in there and lay your eggs. Yeah, Mama. Go do your thing. Go do your thing, girl. So, here it is. Final product, all done. There's a vent on each side uh, for the hot summer months coming. Don't want a lot of dust in there, so I cracked the window a little bit last night for them. Nesting box, no eggs, but I didn't think there would be yet. Some poop. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, the hitch was real super long, so we shortened that. And then added that trailer jack on it. Because the one that was on there was ancient. It's got three windows. It was funny. We put Judy in there yesterday on one of the on the roosting bar here. And she was up in the window pecking at the window. Let me out. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Right guys? So it's finally here. All the birds were comfortable on it. There was plenty of room, even room for more, which I have chicks. Replace all the ones that I've lost over the past seven, eight months. Hopefully the girls will be happier. I closed the shed for the day so they don't lay eggs in there which they probably will wind up in there but I think them getting to know that this is home I'm going to put um, probably a fake egg in the back here I have one um, just so that way they know oh look we can lay eggs in here and it's nice and cozy 